Hey y'all and welcome to our 11th tutorial of our 12 days of Christmas tutorials and giveaways. We still have a couple prizes to give away so make sure you are part of our Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr art group so you can enter to win the last couple of prizes that we have left. So I made a tumbler for a friend that had a movie logo on it and it was a really pretty matte tumbler with some fools on there and how dare me for not recording at least the process up to the decal, right? So I wanted to remake that tumbler since I had so many requests for it with the exception of the decal. My original tumbler was with the Steel Magnolia Morning Mug, but this time I am using the 24 ounce Travel Mug. I have base painted it the Color Shot Matte Black, and I really want to give this a super rustic feel, so I'm going to use this really cheap chip brush and tack it rather than using a makeup brush to apply this and the Southern Bell Glitter Full Glue. The Southern Bell Glitter Full Glue is extra smooth. It goes on just like butter. So it is absolutely perfect to use if you want some really nice, smooth, full lines. But in this case where I want it to look rough and rustic, I'm going to use this thicker tacket and use the chip brush to apply it. When I'm doing distressing or trying to make something look rustic, I do go a little heavier around the top and the bottom rims because if you think about it, when something gets wear and tear, it does more so along the edges of whatever it is. And then there are some just random spots in between that might have been weathered down as well. If you have used Tacket before, you know that it is not the stickiest stuff that you can use. The Southern Bell Full Glue is definitely a lot tackier than this. So you don't want to go super thin in areas or your fulls will not stick to it. But you definitely do not want to oversaturate it either because it will take quite a while for it to dry. And you definitely don't want any wet glues under your fulls or epoxy. After you have finished applying your glue, you can either sit that to the side and let it air dry or use the low heat setting on your heat gun to dry that as well. So the full that I'm using is no longer available at Southern Bell Glitter, but the terracotta that I just shown is a very, very close full that you can get if you want to make this a similar look. Terracotta just has a little bit more of a coppery look to it where this is more of a vintage gold. I'm just going to place my fools over all of the tacket glue and I'm going to use a little stick that I get in my rub on transfer packs from Southern Bell Glitter and rub these fools down especially in the areas that our glue is not really thick so I wanted to apply a little more pressure to get these fools to stick.
Once I finished applying the foils, I took a matte clear spray paint and just sealed this in very lightly and gave this two coats of epoxy. Now at this point, you are decal ready, so you can add your decal on and then finalize with two coats of epoxy. But since this tutorial is mainly for the design of the tumbler itself and how to mat, we're going to jump right in to adding mattify to this tumbler. So you want your tumbler to be very smooth. So this needs to be on a final coat and make sure there's not any lumps or bumps or any divots in your tumbler. You're going to spray that with water or wet it down if you're by sink. And there are two little scrubbing pads that is offered by Artistry. One is the white, which is the one that you use to mat your tumblers. And the other is that brownish red that is used to prep your tumblers. Mattify can also be used, as I have shown before in my tutorials, to prep your tumblers and remove all of that residue that may be on top of the stainless. So you get really good adhesion with all of your paints and your epoxy. So we're just going to take this little pad, add some of the Artistry Mattify to it, and then we're going to scrub around in circular motions in all the areas that will allow. And then I try to go in different directions, like places around the handle and underneath, just so that we can get that circular motion in there and get this nice and smooth. You may wipe off and see that there are still scratches on your tumbler. If you have scratches, you have not scrubbed enough. So you want to scrub with the mattify and the matte pad until you have completely eliminated all scratches and pretty much buff them out until you have a very nice matte finish. Once I had scrubbed enough and felt like I had a nice matte finish, I went and washed the tumbler off with some water and Dawn dish soap. I'm going to dry it off, and as you'll notice in the areas that are still a little wet, it doesn't look like it has a matte finish. So I did take my heat gun on the low heat setting and just dry that up really quickly so you can see it does have to be completely dry to see that beautiful matte finish. Now at this point, I still did have a couple of spots I needed to work on. So I went back and made those corrections and here is our final results. It was misting outside, so there are little tiny droplets of rain on there, but you can still see that beautiful matte finish. As always, all the materials I have used will be listed down in the description below with some coupon codes for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Thank you all so much and we will see you next time.